Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with another exciting video. It's not a cat video. Not a video about this 1998 Chevy Silverado either. Let's go back. We needed this truck to haul this trailer to get our new project. This is a 1989 Ford Probe uh, GT. That means it's the turbo model with the five speed and the sunroof and all that other cool stuff we have going on here. So we're taking her home. She was given to us. She's only got about 167,000 kilometers, which equates to about 103,000 miles, uh, and it's in great shape. Now, it doesn't run, but we'll get into that later. I'm gonna sit you guys back up on the tripod, and you're gonna watch me suffer as I try to get this thing on the tilt deck trailer. All right, so I got this hot mess of a ratcheting deal going. I shot a time lapse, but my camera died halfway, so I don't know how much of that you're gonna be able to see. But long story short, this tire is really flat. Like, we broke the bead flat, so that was fun. Other than that, the three other wheels are up. We've got it up on the tilt deck, and we've got it lat latched down, and the hydraulics are tightened up on it. So, and we're, most of our weight's this way. I think we're good, so. We'll go ahead and unstrap that, and then we'll strap the car down on four points so she doesn't go anywhere on us, and we'll take her on home. So we made it home safe and sound. Uh, sorry about the cutoff video too. I think I may have mentioned that in the prior segment I shot, but we're finally home, and uh, my, uh, my phone gets too cold, and it dies, and video stops shooting. So uh, here we have it. It's finally home, the 1989 Ford Probe. Uh, Got to get it off the trailer. And let me tell you, I was lucky to get it here. <laughs> she, uh, I only plowed my driveway for as wide as a car is. And this car trailer is just, well, honestly, it's about a foot wider on each side. So it was a little bit, it's only a two wheel drive pickup, but I shoved her in here quick and fast and she's all lined up, I'm good to go. So it seems the parking brake, and there's a cat. It seems the parking brake doesn't super duper hold it. So we had to chalk it when we were putting it up onto the ramp here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and untie it and uh, we'll check out the trunk for this video because this flat is as flat as they get. I mean, she's off the bead. So we'll jack her up right here on the trailer and put the spare on it so at least we can roll it down here with a little bit of momentum and get it here in the closet where we'll be able to get some work done for it. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, shoot a uh, this is it video. And then tomorrow we'll go through the details of everything that's in this car. And uh, so that'll be video number two. That's awesome. So we gotta, I think the spare is probably gonna be in the trunk. So we're gonna go a little bit here. Ah, crap, and the uh, keys are in it. And that's a pain. I watch a lot of Vice Grip Garage and you can always tell a lot about a car by what's in the trunk. Uh, well, number one. Uh, the lifters are dead. That's cool. And this is supposed to be tied to it. So that's cool. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Man, there's some cargo space in this thing. And a mattress topper, okay. Sweet. What have we got in here? That well, looks like the carpet's ripped up and they got the spare out, kind of. Oof, that's fun. <clears throat> it's actually wood, like a piece of wood would. Neat. And yeah, I know how to jack a car up, but thank you. Let's get that out of here. Okay, <clears throat> and yeah. Let's take a look at the rust. And um, that's a rod, some kind. And the jack's been out, obviously. And uh, that's sound deadening material. It's all really firm. I didn't expect not much from it. I mean, it's a really good condition car, but uh, it's pretty good back here. So I'm gonna, oh, here's a lug wrench. Ugh. Let's get this lug nut off and uh, get this spare out, put some air in the spare, and then we'll go ahead and just take a regular jack and uh, we'll pop that wheel off, put the spare on for now. Hopefully that'll make her a little easy rolling. That's a lap belt, is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know yet. I'm hoping there's a manual in it, but we're really gonna have to get the car off the <coughs> track in order to open it. But, yeah, that's just winning. Why 
are they chrome? These are hubcaps. Oh well. Before I get too crazy, uh, changing that other tire, well the sun's just right. Let's take a look at the body on this thing. Looks like we got a little bit of a fold in there. That's nothing. Pop-up headlights, but uh, the paint's a little, just needs a little freshening, honestly. And I don't know if the camera shows it well, it's really a maroon to purple. You, know, you, you watch it in the right light, it's a little purple. There's uh, very little rust, if any, on this, on this car. And it's just fantastic. Body cladding from there down. Uh, we've got some, a little bit of sun damage, and I noticed that up on top. Here the door is once again a little faded. We, I think I can bring that right back. It's in very good shape. We got a little ping on the door there, a little door hit. Uh, but we're mostly dealing with dirt issues. This car had been parked inside of a garage for a number of years by itself, all alone. And then it spent the last year or so outside. Uh, and I think there's a little bit of sun fade on the roof. Like we're getting a little bit some more on the other side, a little cracking of the, the black of the trim. Uh, so we're a little, we'll have to work on that a little bit extra. Sunroof though, that's fun. And uh, while I was getting the spare out, it's got a windshield washer, fluid dispenser, and the tank's in the back. So that'll be cool. We'll see if that works there. And as I'm, nice thing about trailers is that you're right at like belt line, and yeah, this thing's got some nice lines to it. Like the flow of that quarter panel window, I'm like, what a horrible window to replace. But really, boy, that's that line is just smooth. And the car, the whole thing is just bullet shaped. Uh, I'm gonna shout out, maybe I'll even link to the Motor Week for the 1989 Ford Probe first model year. Uh, that's my car right there, the GT. Uh, but everything's just so great. There's not, everything's so happy so far with it. Same kind of sun damage on this side, it's just dirty. And like we've got some of where the plastic clear coat's toast and we just have the paint underneath. So we'll see what we can do with that. I have no intent to paint it though. The only thing I might paint is, uh, why not lame it up a little bit, maybe paint that turbo right there. And uh, same with the back in the GT. I know with my Fiero, which is honestly a slightly smaller car, uh, the lights of Pontiac light up in the back, but we gotta make that GT jump out too, right? Make that really stand out and say, hey, look at me, I'm, I'm a, a Ford Pro owner. <laughs> uh, but the styling cues, just the smooth of the, the fender line up to the integrated mirrors. These bumps here are because they wanted the hood lower, but they had to have the suspension. So they needed to put a bump in there to support some clearance for that. That's totally a winning engineering story right there. See, we still have that under, so that might I'll have to look into that, but that looks like that might be right. A little bit of nose damage in terms of the fog lights are broken out, but we're gonna replace those with LEDs anyway, but nothing crazy, like no over, overheated or warpage or things like that. No underhood fires that have deformed things. Minor crack in the windshield. I mean, it's just a beautiful car. And when I was looking at it, oh, it's got hubcaps. It doesn't have hubcaps. It's got these weird discs. <laughs> it is four wheel disc brakes. And it's got these weird, like, I guess they keep rocks out. I don't know. I don't know why they just wouldn't have a wide open wheel there, but like my, my Pontiac Grand Prix, but anywho, so. Just while the light was right, figured we'd hit that. I'm gonna jack it up right now, get this tire off of it, and we'll roll her on into the shop. So while I got you here, we'll take a look at the front brakes, cause yeah, why not? Looks like uh, well, we got some Zerk fitting for the uh, tie rod end and shocks and things, and see how high those go up for sure. Uh, brakes, it rolls. I don't know if we need new pads yet. We'll get into that when we get the car running, because right now it doesn't. You can see the oil pan. Whew, there's not a lot of space there, is there? Harmonic balancer, and the belt's showing a little. Well, it's got two belts. That's interesting. I don't know how this engine runs yet. So, like in terms of well, or, you know, it's a Mazda engine, my understanding is. So, not even there yet, but everything looks so good. Got some dirt. It's a country car, so that's going to happen. The frame, look at that. Look at that steel. Happy, happy. All right, let's get the spare on and get her down. Well, not exactly in and out of the park for showing you guys stuff today, man. Uh, long story short though, I just pushed the car back so this tilt deck could tilt back down and I'd strapped it to the front again. And then it's just a matter of a little bit of friction on this strap to 
slowly lower her down on into the Quonset. She's a little off, but we can fix that. Now that it's on the ground, you can push it around and do all sorts of things. This cart does not weigh a lot. So I'm gonna wrap up the trailer. Actually, I'm probably just gonna move it out of the way so I can close the doors. And then we'll do one little final look at this car before we you know, head on inside for supper. All right. Does this thing have Ooh, a glove box? It does. Does it have an owner's manual? Uh, not in here. Console? Um, some coins. Cool. Um, probably not. So I guess we'll have to go online and dig around for tomorrow's video. Oof, this proof line is low. But uh, just in case you guys are wondering, 86 Ford F-150. Still here. The hard to see, but actually still here. 1994 Buick Regal. Still also hard to see, but getting sexier every year, the 1994 Chevy Caprice wagon. The 98, obviously. My work car, 202 Grand Prix. And of course, the Equinox, Turbo Buicks in long-term storage, my 86. And the 88 Fiero still in long-term storage too. They're all still here, they're waiting. We'll get to them. But I guess right now we'll focus on the probe. So I will actually see you tomorrow while we throw a battery in it. See all the toys that are inside. You guys, go ahead and subscribe to Turbo 231 for more exciting videos. And uh, check out my other YouTube site, Red Barn Homestead, that's not even related to that car at all. And you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome updates on what I'm doing. Uh, please check out the next video I've got lined up for you. And also uh, check out my Patreon page if you want to support what we're doing here. And finally, check out my other less tractory page, Red Barn Homestead. You can subscribe to that too, see some awesome stuff. And we'll see you next time.